the title right. In this video, I will show you how you can play your favorite Windows games on your phone or on your tablet, and I mean natively. It is all thanks to the awesome open source community of Finlater and, of course, the openness of Android operating system. Since this method involves emulation, not every processor is optimized for it. Your best bet will be having a Qualcomm processor since they are the most numerous one and they are the most optimized ones. If your phone has a processor with multi GPU such as Exynos, Tensor or MediaTek, you might encounter some performance or instability problems, but it is always best to test it for yourself. For reference, the phone I'll be using for this video is S24 Ultra, which is running Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. First, let me explain the application that we are going to use to emulate Windows. Winlater is an Android application that is built to run Windows applications with Vine and Box86 or Box64. In short, this is an all-in package for you to easily run emulated Windows apps on your phone. You may ask that, well, isn't emulation is slow? And my answer would be technically yes, but the processor in these modern phones are so powerful that you can play some old AAA games or even some modern ones depending on your phone. You can download the Winlater APK from its GitHub page with the QR code down below or with the link in the description. At the time of the shooting this video, the latest version is Winlater 9.0 and that is what I will be using. After you have installed the APK, we can continue with the next step. One limitation of using an emulation layer is that it does not work with DRMs. So you have two options to download your games. The first option is using GOG.com since they have DRM free games and this is the legal option. And the second way is, well, I think we all know what I'm talking about. I never endorse or like pirating, but at the end of the day, you do you. <laughs> Since I made all of my disclaimers, we can continue with the process of downloading the game files. To download your games from GOG, you don't have to install their launcher and simply can use the web page. Therefore, if you want, you can do all of this on your phone or your tablet without using any computers. First thing you need to do is, well, go into GOG.com. Then click on your game list and choose a game to download. Simply click on the picture of the game you want to download and click on the download offline backup game installer at the bottom of the pop-up. Depending on the size of the game, you can see multiple links. You have to download every single one of them. Just click them one by one and wait for the download to finish. After files are downloaded, you have to copy them to your phone's downloads folder. This is really important. You can create additional folders under the downloads folder, but files have to be under your phone's downloads folder. Otherwise, Winlater will not be able to read those files. After you copy the files, we are done with the computer and can continue on the phone. On your phone, open the Winlater app. If it is the first time, Winlater might download some additional files and prepare the environment for you. Then you will see an empty page named containers. Since I have already installed some games, mine is not empty. Now, click on the plus button on the top right of the screen. In here, you can customize every single feature of the environment, but I will simply go over the most important ones. Graphics driver choice is really important since you have to choose based on your phone's processor. Since I have a Qualcomm processor, I will be using Turnip, but if you have a MediaTek processor, for example, you have to choose Vortec or Virgil. Just as both of them and use the better performing one. When it comes to the DX wrapper, most of the time DXVK will be your best bet, but if your game is relatively new and using DirectX 12, then VK3D might give better performance. You can also toggle the FPS counter from here. Then scroll down and select the video memory size. If your phone has enough memory, then make this 4GB for better performance. Another very important setting is under the Advanced tab. Box64 is set to compatibility by default, but if your game runs and is stable with performance, then it's a better option. You simply have to try. Then you can click OK and your environment is created. Now, run the environment. To access your phone's download folder, simply get into the D drive. 
From there, locate the installation files and install the game as you would do on any Windows computer. After the installation is finished, you can go to the desktop and double click on the game shortcut to run the game. Another way of running your game is to use shortcuts page in Winlater. Every single shortcut you have created in your environments will be listed here and you can simply click the play icon to start the game. So you don't have to run the environment and click on the desktop icon every single time you want to play that game. And that's it, you are ready to play some games. And let's see some gaming action. I want to start with Fallout 3. One little problem with Fallout 3 is that its launcher does not work properly, so you have to open the game directly without using its launcher. I'm running this game on Full HD and low to mid settings. As you can see, I can comfortably reach 60 FPS. Since game is limited to 60 FPS, that is the max, but even in relatively heavy scenes, it does not drop more than a couple of FPS. I remember playing this game on my old laptop on 768p and with everything is on absolute minimum while getting barely 25 FPS. So getting this performance from my phone is simply amazing. I'm using my Bluetooth game controller for this showcase, but you don't need to have a controller to play your games. Vilnator also supports on-screen touch controls, so you can simply use your phone's screen. Second game I have tested was Bioshock 2 Remastered. It is a more modern and demanding game than Fallout 3, but HN3 is not a sludge either. The graphic settings I used was 4x anisotropic filter and water ripples was on. The game was running at 720p. I was getting 30 FPS at worst and it could go up to as much as 80 FPS depending on the scene. Again, more than enough to play this game. Third, and the last game I want to show is Dishonored Definitive Edition. This was by far the most demanding one. Again, the resolution was set to 720p and graphic settings was on low. On average, I got 25 FPS. I cannot say that this is playable, but running such a graphically intense game is a feat by on its own and I just wanted to show you how capable this Vinlator is. I have also tested the LEGO Clone Wars at 720p in which I was comfortably getting around 60 FPS, but I think 3 games is enough. However, I'm also curious about your results. If you decide to give Vinlator a try, please write down your own results so we can learn it together. For me, this is the best way of playing games on the go. Yes, you get more performance or compatibility with your laptops or dedicated gaming console, but with this method, you gain enormous convenience. I always carry my phone and tablet with me wherever I travel, so being able to play Windows games means that I don't have to carry anything else to play games. And with that, we come to the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned some new things. If that is the case, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe this video. And if you want to support my channel, you can do so by donating me with the link in the description. And as always, take care.